husband of the candidate, Berkeley Allen. I've known Berkeley for 35 years, and she's an amazing woman. And there are five broad categories of reasons why she should be elected to the Metro Council. And I just want to go this just for a minute. First of all, Berkeley was a physics major in college. She has a master's in mechanical engineering. She's a practicing mechanical engineer. She has infrastructure expertise, master planning expertise. She does life cycle cost analysis in her sleep practically. Uh, this perspective uh, on council will be invaluable not only to our district but to the whole city. We need somebody with technical understanding who understands the numbers. It's absolutely critical. Um, second, Berkeley is a mother. We have three fabulous children. But as any parent can tell you, all children have stuff that they have to deal with, issues. Our, our uh, three children um, are wonderful, and two of them had the experience of going to public school. That broadens Berkeley's uh, perspective. She was the West End PT was on the West End PTO and served as the Hillsborough Cluster representative. Also, uh, to further broaden Berkeley's uh, perspective is that our youngest has a reading disability. She's doing great now. It took lots of uh, effort. And she's just an amazing child. But that whole experience also has broadened uh, Berkeley's perspective and will stand her in good stead uh, to represent the issues of our district and our city when it comes to school issues and school funding. Uh, third, um, Berkeley uh, and I have hosted uh, 21 international students over the years. Our latest one leaving uh, on July 6 after being here for 11 months. Uh, Berkeley uh, spent her junior year in Germany. Uh, she has traveled and had the really the blessing to be able to travel internationally on a number of occasions. We've had children from Guatemala, Australia, France, and Germany uh, live in our home. Uh, for a few weeks, for a few months, for a year uh, at a time. Uh, the experience of getting to know individuals from the former East Germany has been extraordinary and again has broadened uh, Berkeley's and my perspective tremendously. Uh, also, a fourth broad uh, category of reasons, and that's the obvious set of reasons, and that is Berkeley's experience in the neighborhood. She has been uh, on the neighborhood board 25 years. She's been present for five years, two terms plus a year, and her experience has been extensive. She's dealt with every single issue in the neighborhood on multiple occasions. So when she uh, arrives on the council, she will not have a steep learning curve. It'll be much more general because she's done these issues so frequently. She's already an expert in zoning. That's the main thing that council uh, persons uh, deal with. But she's also uh, uh, been involved in a playground building. Everybody's heard about Elmington Park. That's a remarkable story uh, that's on her website. She also uh, she also built the Alameda Apartments playground which is over next to TSU and is an apartment complex subsidized by the federal government, or excuse me, subsidized by the government for uh, women uh, and uh, with HIV and their children. Uh, and Berkeley also uh, was in charge of the of our church slash community playground build, um, which was a 150 person effort over five days uh, to build one of these amazing playgrounds uh, uh, guided by uh, and overseen by this New York company who's done a number of these all over the country, including the Red Caboose Park, which you're probably familiar with. But her neighborhood experience uh, also, I mean, it's quite extensive. Hopefully, you've seen this for I mean, 25 years of service, Berkeley has done a lot for the district. I mean, 23 years, Tree Day, Arlington Park. Uh, she
she was neighborhood president when the Sharondale uh, power lines came through and she helped mediate the deal to keep 75 trees from being cut down. Um, she led the effort to re residential single family down zoning um, and she's you know, been involved in tremendous number of things. I can't begin to recall all of them right here. Now the fifth broad category of reason is that Berkeley is just an amazingly wonderful individual. She is honest as the day is long, her integrity is unquestionable, and she's not only a data person, but she's a people person. It's a little un unusual. There are lots of things unusual about her. I mean, she's a power plant designer and a tree hugger, and she says, well, we need both. <laughs> but uh, Berkeley, uh, this is her calling. This is her next phase of life, and we are so lucky she wants to do this. We're lucky I agreed to it, but she will be absolutely fabulous. And if you, the voter, look at the data, I mean, it's really simple. Her qualifications are overwhelming. And Ginger Hauser, a previous council person, says you have to look far and wide and may not find anyone who's run for council, who hasn't already been on council, with her depth and breadth of experience. So. I'm asking you to carefully consider Berkeley for council. She will be fabulous. If you're already voting for Berkeley, please spread the word to your friends and neighbors. We, our district, we, our city, need Berkeley to be on council. She will be a wonderful addition. Thank you very much.